Welcome to Rachel Scale Modeling. This is part two of Revel's Colombo Express container ship. Scale is 1 to 700. In part two, I'm going to be starting the build. So I'm going to be looking at the hull and uh, placing that together. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. However, before I start the build, I'm going to have to mix up some colours. So I've just got a, a normal um, empty pot here and then mixing the um, first part of the colours. So I've got three to mix up and um, I'll, I'll go through the actual columns as I use them like I normally do. But it, this is something I'm loath to do. I hate mixing colours because you can never, you always have to mix more than you need uh, to make sure you have enough. And you've always got loads left over. Um, uh, and to me it just seems a waste. But um, because it's uh, quite a big hull, and uh, they're looking for a slightly shade of a uh, different shade of ready purple that I normally use. I've decided to go with the instructions and see how well I get on. The first colour I'm using is Revo Aquacolor 302 Silk Black. Um, this is for the um, main part of the hull. However, I will change this later on, but at this stage, this is the colour I decided to use. It's what the instructions call for, um, but I, I didn't like the um, the tone of the black for the hull. Next, I'm using my first colour mix, and it's Rebel Aquacolor 331 Purple Red, that's 70%, and Rebel Aquacolor 83 Ross, and of course that's 30%. And this is for the top half of the ship as well as the bottom or the underside of the, the hull. Next I'm using Revel Aquacolor 91 Steel and this is for the drive shaft um, that goes inside the hull and just pokes out a little bit out outside. It's not really necessary to paint it all but um, I'm going to paint it anyway. I'm also using this colour for the anchors as well. They're calling it for the steel colour. Whether they're steel or not, I'm not 100% sure. So my next colour is Revel Aquacolor 92 Brass and this is for the screw or the pop prop if you, if you like. My second colour mix is Revo Up Colour 36 Common Red, 70% and then it's 83 Ross Revo Up Colour, 30% and this is for the rudder of the ship. I'm going back to my first paint mix once more and these are just for these uh, little parts sticking up at the edge of the hull. Now these are braces um, for the framework that goes on to the hull but they need to be painted now because um, it will be quite difficult to paint them once the hull's together. And putting the hull together is, is quite simple. First of all, I'm putting in the two um, bulkheads. There's a little uh, ridge that runs right down and over to place these bulkheads in. Each one is slightly different size so I had to make sure that they were all going into the right place of course. And then I moved on to the stern of the ship to put the back piece in. I like the bulkhead, there's a little lip that runs down that can guide you for the placement of these parts. And then the drive shaft. Now the instructions say uh, you don't have to uh, submit this in place, but that's only if you want it free moving. If you don't want it free moving, I would suggest putting in a little bit of cement just to hold it in place. Otherwise it can be a little bit tricky uh, to put the holes together. And um, as you can see, this is what I'm going to be doing now. There's little location points uh, running down that they seem to guide you in. But using the bulkheads as the main guide is a lot simpler to line it up. I know a lot of people have trouble joining the hulls together when they're in two pieces like this. The best way to approach it, I find, is... Um, just starting at one end and cementing as you go along. So line up one end with a little bit of cement and uh, make sure that's uh, nice and stable and then move on to your um, next part down the line and just gradually work your way down uh, to the other end until it's all cemented like that. That way you shouldn't get any slippage with the um, um, scenes ste stepping over each other which um, obviously could be a problem. This hole was a really nice fit, so um, I only had to put in a couple of clamps uh, to hold it, and that was mostly at the end. 
and this also helps them um, cementing it as you go along uh, as well. You just release the clamp uh, before you add your extra bit of cement and then carry on. Of course, you can put your cement from the inside in uh, down and let the capillary action take it um, over. But you have to be careful, make sure the whole thing has got the cement for this because they can pop open uh, when you start putting weight on onto the hull. Next, I'm just going to be sanding down that area seam lines. There wasn't uh, that many, just a little bit of a ridge here on the prow of the ship. And once everything was dry, it's uh, to the main painting now. So it's my first paint mix once more. So it's Revo Aqua Color 331 Purple Red 70% and Revo Aqua Color 83 Ross 30%. And this is for the bottom part of the hull. However, I'm going to be painting the entire hull with this um, colour because I want the, when I put the black on, I want that to be nice and even. So um, it's wise just to paint the whole hull the uh, one colour. I know I don't like colour uh, mixing my colours, uh, but this is a really nice uh, colour and it's going down uh, nice and smoothly. Now that the paints are dried on out, it's time to put on the rudder and the, the uh, screw. Generally, I will um, leave this uh, to the end, but they're, they're quite a nice fit and there won't be a lot of movement while handling, so uh, I can't place them on. So first of all, the screw goes on and that, that goes onto the prop shaft which is inside. As I said, mine's um, it's not going to be free moving, so I didn't have to worry about um, the placement of the cement so much. The rudder itself it comes in two parts. The bracket holding the rudder and of course the rudder itself. Again, this can be free moving if you wish. I'm not having mine free moving. It just makes it a little bit simpler um, assembly. As I said, I don't have to worry so much where I'm putting the cement. And to finish up part two, I'm going to be placing on some varnish. So I'm using Pledge Clear Polish and I'm just putting a liberal coat all over. This will uh, prepare the hull for the next stage of painting. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? If you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be kept up to date not only with this build, but all my future builds as well. Hit that like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment and of course you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.